Typography is so much more than just choosing beautiful fonts. It plays a very important role in communication and it's so closely related to emotions. Typography will establish a strong visual hierarchy and provide with a graphic balance. It can also assist in clearly and efficiently presenting what is supposed to be communicated. In this unit, we will learn how to use the most important typographic tool in Adobe Illustrator, which is the type tool. Follow me. I created a layer with locked as a background, this composition here of images, plus the logo of ESO, a jewelry brand. And I want to add some typography, so I want to make kind of a digital flyer for them, or perhaps a web page or something like that. So I need to add some kind of information that I need to use typography. In order to bring in typography, I will go ahead and click on the type tool or press the T letter on your keyboard for the shortcut. One way to use it is just click anywhere on your canvas and you will see that it's going to type automatically lorem ipsum. So in this case, I want to type in based in London and then on a new line made in Greece. In order to create a new line, I just press enter key as you would do in any software. Now I can select my text and you see that I have the same handles that I have with any kind of shape. So I can select them with the shift key, hold it down. I can make the typography bigger or smaller or however I actually like. I can rotate it if I want to or repositioning it the same exactly way as you would do with any kind of shape. The other thing that I can also do is instead of just typing in a line, my copy, I can use the type tool in order to create a whole paragraph. And by that, I mean clicking and dragging your click in order to create a rectangle, which is actually a text box. Once you release your click, you will see that Illustrator is automatically going to fill this box with text. And I can go ahead and amend the text just by typing in. In order to leave the text tool, you either press the escape button or you select any other tool from your toolbar. Now, as you can see, my typography is placed within, but it feels too small. If I'm going to go ahead and try to scale the box, you see that it just scales the box, not the typography within it. In order to scale the typography, I will need to adjust the type size. On your properties panel at the top, you see the paragraph that says character. If you click on that, you can define what font you want to use, the weight, and then the scale of your typeface, as well as the leading, which is a typography term that describes the distance between each line of the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and select from the drop down menu the Susie font perhaps, which is quite an interesting one, and make it a bit bigger so I can actually read it. Perhaps a bit lighter too. I'm gonna increase the leading so you see how it increases the distance between the lines. And I'm gonna do the same for this title here. I want it to be consistent so I'm gonna use the same font. I'm gonna just type in Susie and I'm gonna use perhaps, let's use, yeah, that's quite good. I feel like this is still quite small, so let's go ahead and increase the size even more. What you notice on this box here now is that we have this red corner with a little square indicating the plus sign, which means that the text doesn't fit on our box. What you need to do is click on that and then it will allow you to create a second box which is gonna be used in order to continue your copy. You see that my cursor changed an icon to this little corner with the text within. And I can go ahead and draw a rectangle the same way that I would do a normal one in order to create the copy. I'm going to drag it just underneath so I can scale it. And with my smart guides, I can adjust it so it's the same width. And bring it back here and you see how the two boxes are connected so if I'm gonna go ahead and delete the sentences you will see that the lorem ipsum text move up to fill the gap so this way you can have your paragraphs connected 
as you can see, I still have this plus sign. And actually, I don't want to have that much copy. So I'm going to go ahead and extend the box so I can see the full copy and delete this paragraph. The text is just lorem ipsum, which is indicative text. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it later on before delivering to the client to the actual copy that I want to use. So this way you can either use the text tool in order to just create a text line as we did with the title or a text box if you would use it the same way that you would create a rectangle, let's say. And you can select the boxes, reposition them and move them exactly the same way as you would do with a shape. You can also work a bit farther on your typography. For example, I'm going to go ahead and use italics on this secondary line just to differentiate it a bit and make it a bit more engaging. So there are two ways to use the type tool. One is just clicking anywhere and type in in a straight line and press enter in order to change a line. Or the other is click, drag your click to create a rectangle which is going to be automatically filled in with some copy. But under the type tool, if you click and hold your type tool, you see you have again some farther options. I'm going to release my click over this arrow here so I can grab the panel with the different type tool options. And I'm going to switch to my next artboard where I have this hexagon already been drawn. So the second icon, if you hover over, you will also see the description and it is the area type tool. What it allows you to do is place some typography within a shape, as you can also see on the thumbnail here. So what I will do is select the shape, select this tool and click on the shape. You see that automatically it filled it up my box with some text. And of course, in this case, it's not readable. So I'm going to switch to a brighter color and the same way you can go ahead and adjust the size of it and the leading and so on till you're happy with how the text has been positioned within your shape. So the second tool allows you to add typography within any kind of shape. Again, the text here doesn't fit within your shape, so you either need to cut down the copy or use an additional shape in order to transfer the rest of the text. The third tool that I want to talk to you about is the type on path tool and it allows you to add some type on a path. So I'm going to select it and click anywhere on my path in the circle and you see that it brings in some typography. I'm going to go ahead and switch the text to just hello and you see how it actually follows the path that we defined. I'm going to go ahead and switch as well the color so we can better see what we created. And of course you can adjust the typeface or the size. Now what you see is that we have one, two and three lines, which actually allows us to define how is the copy going to be placed within our circle. So the first line here allows me to define where is the copy going to start. The last one here allows me to define where it's going to stop. So now you see that it doesn't fit because we squeezed it too much. So I'm going to undo that. You have also this middle handle, which allows you to reposition the whole copy around. You can also select it and drag it towards the inside of the circle. And the copy is going to be moved on the inside instead of the outside of your path. The next tool on this library allows you to type vertically. So I can just click anywhere and you see that my copy has been applied vertically or correspondingly to the type tool. I can just click and drag in order to create a box which is going to be filled up with vertical lines of text. But what I can also do is use the vertical area type tool in order to fill in a shape with vertical typography. Something like this. Perhaps I need to adjust the leading and the different parameters in order to fix the typography and make it a bit more readable. That is more for languages that they support vertical writing instead of horizontal, but sometimes you might find also this function useful. The next tool, as you can imagine, allows you to click anywhere around your path and add some typography that follows your path. 
Again, you have these handles that allow you to adjust how exactly your typography is going to be placed on the path. The last tool in terms of the type options is this one here, which is called Touch Type Tool. And what it does, it's allowing you to select a specific letter and play around with it. So I can scale it up or down. I can also switch it with any other of the glyphs available, which we are going to talk about later on a bit farther. So instead of having to get the letter out of the path or put it on a different path, you can just select it and scale it or amend it using this tool. And this is really handy if you want to adjust a specific letter on your composition. In this case, it doesn't really work that well in the design, so I'm gonna undo and stick with the original sizing of my S and D letter on the composition. When it comes to Adobe Illustrator, I think it handles typography really well. But of course, when it comes to longer typographic compositions, I would suggest to use a different software such as Adobe InDesign which allows you to better handle typography. In the next unit, I'm going to show you how to select a typeface as well as how to adjust its parameters.